we are one of those white biotech companies who are trying to bring sustainability and innovation in taking low value residues and converting them into higher value products, in particular the types of chemicals that he mentioned. And one dominant product from our process is biobutanol, which I will tell you about as an advanced biofuel. Our focus is on taking sustainable resources. In fact, we've adapted a historical process, just given it a brand new dimension and a new twist in a modern biotech context. Marmid is working basically on two different technology platforms. One is uh, targeting uh, uh, tumular vasculars, and we have a compound in advanced stage we see in a moment. And the other technology platform is the core business the company. Uh, that was, uh, in a way, Molmed is, uh, is a special case because it was able to survive the 10 years frozen period of the gene therapy. And, and now it's active not only with proprietary compounds like Zalmoxis DK, but also through uh, activities for third parties uh, in partnership with uh, other uh, entities. The key thing for me, though, is our activity in infectious disease. Uh, we have 50 people working in infection, which sadly, in my view, makes us the largest uh, infectious disease research group in Europe. And faced with the problem that we are with antimicrobial resistance worldwide, we have to do more in infection to bring new products through and drive uh, research in to new products so that the problem with antimicrobial resistance that faces us globally is not going to overwhelm us. We use our bio knowledge every day to uh, take people's life to another uh, level and we strongly believe that people crazy enough to change the world are uh, the ones who change it. So the winners of the Europa Bio uh, 6 Most Innovative European Biotech SME Award are for the healthcare biotech category, MOMED. What they're doing is really uh, something that is changing the world, right? I mean, I think the idea that you can treat leukemia and other blood diseases and actually do these uh, stem cells treatments that you can actually broaden the scope uh, as we never seen before, I think that's just uh, very honored uh, to meet you here today. And then for the industrial biotech category, Celtic Renewables or Celtic Renewables, congratulations. prizes are uh, really create the dynamic, uh, grieve the incentive uh, and actually push people to uh, get to uh, another level. Uh, this uh, morning um, we've been talking about the future and what do we think in terms of innovation in science, what will be the future. And I uh, define that strategy as the 3-0 strategy, open innovation, open science and open to the world. I want to see more of that. Companies that are actually based on their knowledge are open to the world. For me, it's an incredible honor to receive such a prestigious award and in such an incredible location because everything that Celtic Renewables has achieved has been about partnership and I think the European Parliament just epitomizes partnership with all the countries that have joined in on this and for us to receive something here is a marvellous, marvellous, marvellous feeling. Boys makers should care because this is one of the most important areas in which the technology can bring real results to the daily life of the population.